What is up, everyone? It's been a minute. Got some low heat here to unbox. First off, I want to say thank you for all the subscribers. We've broke a thousand. Maybe, maybe I'll start putting a little bit more effort, a little production value into this. Maybe I'll buy a better camera instead of just my iPhone. We'll see, to be determined. If you really want to incentivize me to do that, those of you who are unsubscribed, please keep subscribing. And, and if you'd like, I don't give a... I don't see I'm not going to bleep it. I'm not going to edit this. I, I just won't say it. If you don't care um, about that, you know, it still only takes a second for you to click subscribe. So it costs you zero calories or dollars. So I'd appreciate that. Before we get into these, uh, a little uh, a little preview, uh, not preview. It's like a movie preview. A little uh, unboxing appetizer as we do in about half my videos. Got a little package in. Show it off quick. Be, be safe. Sheathe your knives, folks. Okay. So we got a Infinite Archives Cause Collaboration t-shirt. And um, this is a good uh, jumping off point for these and the shoes that I'm wearing uh, right now. Uh, because, you know, uh, some things, sometimes things get really hot. They get icy hot. And, uh, you know, there's a wave. And then sometimes there's a, a, a little crest and things come down. Maybe people aren't as into cause after these past three years, but you know what's great? You know what's great is hype, apparel, and things done for charity. So this collaboration between Infinite Archives and Cause, all of it um, go, all of the profits, proceeds, will go to the Rebuild Foundation, as you can see here in Cause's lettering and style, art style. We'll go towards the Rebuild Foundation, which is a Chicago-based nonprofit uh, where uh, a lot of the focus is in underserved communities, especially the south side of Chicago. So that's what I love. I love when uh, there's like hype, hype apparel, clothes, etc., where the money goes to charity. Because then, then you're getting like both benefits. You get a cool piece, cool T-shirt from famed artist cause but then at the same time the profits go to a, a, a great cause sorry dad it just lined up i didn't intend to do that dad joke but you know sometimes um that's the way it be uh so yeah and also that point is when something might like cool down you know in five years maybe people are like i oh, don't cause cause t-shirts are corny bro um you can be like you're corny bro uh this went to charity so i don't give a again i'm not gonna bleep anything so i just won't say it uh so that's what's great love it love it i was just in chicago so uh it's cool that this is going towards uh helping out communities south side of chicago love chicago great city if you've never been check it out okay on to what you've all been waiting for. Appreciate those who've stuck around for three minutes. You got a great, you have a above average ex, um, attention span. Or those of you who just skip forward in the video, that's just, you know, that's just smart. Instead of complaining. Okay. Shipping out of there. All right. Excited. Excited for this pair. Um, not really high heat at all. Definitely low heat, but excited for this pair. Oh, do we get a little sticker? Do we get a little sticker? Let's see here. Yes, we got a little sticker. This, as you can see, is a Stussy, or I guess a pro more appropriately Stussy, um, collaboration with Nike slash Converse. Converse, a subdivision of Nike. And the great thing about ordering from Stussy themselves, I'm going to keep calling it Stussy. I know it might be, it, it is Stussy, but it's just more, more people will say something if I say it correctly than if I, if I say it incorrectly. Great thing about getting it from the brand itself is you get stickers. If you got these off Nike or another um, third party clothing store retailer, I don't think you probably get Stussy stickers. So that's cool. And I think that's it. Just make sure. Yep. Okay. All right. Main course time. Get that out of frame. We got Stussy Converse All Star packaging, Stussy lettering. It's uh, dope. Um, Sean uh, Stussy is no longer with it, he sold the company. But uh, I think the brand's still cool. 
and uh, I think a lot of people also agree with me. So I got these in size 11 and a half. These are uh, the Converse Chuck 70 High in black and white, as you can see. We've got these released on Stussy first, and then shortly after on the Sneakers app. These are, I'll cut to the chase, these are not going for above retail, really. Maybe in certain sizes, but these are basically retail or under retail. Who knows with shipping and taxes and fees where they'll net out. Probably a little above, but um, so yeah, these were just, what, what's the price of a Chuck High? These were, I think, you know, I paid shipping and taxes and stuff from the website. These came out over a hundred bucks. I wonder what a, a, damn it, I didn't do my research. I wonder what a Converse Chuck High goes for um, retail. It's under a hundred bucks, right? Ooh, okay. So right away, you got this woven woven canvas material not the tight tight weave canvas you got this thick boy thick boy threads that you can see you got a little stussy tag there on the ankle and the converse all-star but designed in the fashion in uh stussified stussified and then where you typically have the circular logo it's now on the inside of the converse all-star chuckle converse chuck taylor all-star it's on the inside here so that's the the brand's take on the uh the chuck i must say i you know the the chuck taylor high is a classic um classic shoe classic silhouette i mean so classic it predates you know nike basketball shoes uh and so messing with it in this way, I don't know if I love it more. Like in a vacuum, I think I like the regular Converse All-Star. I mean, nothing beats that logo hit on the ankle. Uh, it doesn't beat it uh, just straight up in a vacuum, but because this is such a classic silhouette, so ubiquitous, everyone owns, uh, most people own a pair, lots of people own a pair, I do like that this is a, a different take on it. So that's, that's the benefit of this in my mind. I don't have a pair of Chuck Taylor highs, uh, wanted a pair, but this is one of those areas where like you fall on one or two sides of the track, you know, or one side of the track or the other, I should say. Either you're about the classic silhouettes and having essentially a uniform shoe, uh, not a uniform shoe, but a, a uniform type shoe. And, and that's fine with you. If, if anything, it adds to the aesthetic that like maybe in a certain area, one type of shoe is really popular. You're like part of a clan, part of a, a, a tribe. Um, maybe that adds value. Or you might be like, no, I don't want, I want something that different that uh, everyone doesn't have. So this is, this is when collabs like this, I think are great for someone like me. I, I want to fit in, you know, a lot of us do. Uh, you like something that's aesthetically pleasing like this um, Chuck Taylor high goes with everything right or most stuff I should say most stuff um, but you just don't want at the same time you know, there's resistance to getting something that everyone has that you see on like one out of ten people so this comes in this uh, enter the uh, a collaboration uh, brands play on a classic and so I think that's great uh, or, or beneficial I should say Again, I don't know if I love this take on it, but you know what? I do, um, I appreciate that it's slightly different. Now I can wear these with confidence. Not everyone has these, but people have things like these. To the um, close observer, the sneakerhead, to people who like Chuck Taylors, they'll notice the difference. Like, what are those? Are those knockoffs? Whatever. Might start a conversation, you know? Um, so on the tongue, you have all-star Again, in Stussy lettering, you get an extra pair of laces black. That might be interesting. I think I know everyone goes with the classic white laces. Typically, it's a nice little contrast to the upper and matches the outsole, or I guess the midsole and the toe cap here. I guess the, the outsole is this uh, brown. Um, so that might be a, also an interesting, take it one step further, switch up the laces and go black. That might be one step further in like setting yourself apart. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, black laces or white laces. Also, you got Stussy on the inside, on the on the insole. I wonder, I bet these have cushier insoles than a regular Chuck Taylor. These definitely do. Let's get into these. I'll try these on. Talk about these for one second as I take them off. 
So these, as you, well, I guess you didn't see the outside of them. These, as you could have guessed, are the CDG Converse Chuck Taylor Lowe's, uh, the Converse uh, Comme des Garçons Playline uh, that they have. And uh, basically means they're like cheaper, more affordable, everyman line. Now these, I got these at the height of the CDG uh, Converse craze, uh, probably a few years ago. And uh, this, I want to talk briefly about this shoe as I uh, put on these others. Uh, they don't, uh, you know, these aren't as far, these are maybe played out to some definitely not as uh, cool to some. So what do you do with something like this? This is in my collection now. I have these. What do you do with these? I still think it's a good shoe. Definitely has, a, like I said, a cushier insole than regular Chucks. Uh, I think this might even be more cushiony than these. Uh, these are still a good shoe. It's not a bad shoe, but you know, you might not wear this to any sort of sneakerhead function or, or what have you, right? So what I would suggest is you wear these two. I love wearing these like uh, back home, you know, where you see family, any sort of flyover state or if, like me, if you're from Wisconsin, you wear these. People know about Chuck Taylor Lowe's, but maybe they haven't seen these. It's just the same type of thing with these, right? It's a little different. Um, you know, the grandmas, the moms like, oh, those are cute. It's got a heart on them. Um, I didn't know you wore stuff with hearts on them, cartoon hearts on them. Uh, that's one thing you can also wear them if you, if you ever go to, you know, uh, hipstery areas or functions or parties, coffee bars, uh, places where people might be a little bit more fashion forward, but they're not, uh, scrolling through complex and sneaker news and, and, and sneaker Instagram every second. Uh, you know, they'll know what these are. They'll recognize them. You'll get uh, a pass and maybe even a nod, uh, right? So these still have staying power in maybe those crowds. Uh, or you can just wear them as around the house beaters, you know, to do um, chores in, uh, maybe do a little art project, a little painting, get a little, get these little distressed paint splatters. Or you could do something ironic with them, you know, mow the lawn in them, get these all grass stained up, uh, take an IG photo. Mm, there you go. A little social media mileage out with them. Or you can sell them uh, to a secondhand shop like Buffalo Exchange. These, these you know, maybe you're not going to make a ton of money, especially used, but, you know, they'll buy them. Uh, for, I don't know how much, probably like, yeah, I don't know, 10, 10 to 20 bucks, depending on condition. And they'll put them out for like, you know, 40. Um, so there, those are your options with something like this. Uh, still a perfectly fine shoe. I think I wore these last, I took these on my trip to, trip to Hawaii. Uh, yes. These, what's great about these is they, uh, pack nicely, you know? You don't got to worry about ruining them. They take up not a ton of space. They're not super heavy or chunky. So yeah, lots of benefits with the, specifically that shoe, but that's what I would do with um, shoes that maybe had their time in the sun and now just might not be as hype. Uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts on that are. Or no, you just like F it, you know? You know what? I'm, I'm wearing those. I'm wearing those to round two. I don't give a what they think maybe that's i mean more power to you if you like them you wear what you like right wear what you like so if you like them you like them rock them who gives what anyone else thinks oh i didn't notice that stussy on the tongue you can wear these i bet oh yeah you can wear these probably a, a multitude of different ways i'd be interested to see if anyone like laces them up like that um tongue down maybe that's not the wave I think it's kind of interesting. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's kind of interesting. So I like wearing thin socks with these. These are like medium weight socks. These are Stance um, Johnny Cash socks. I think they fit these vibe. Although Stussy's kind of, you know, a West Coast surfer band. I don't know how West Coast surfer Johnny Cash is. But as far as the, the print goes and the pattern, I don't know how much they want with these. But these socks definitely go with these kind of like like west coast punk rock vibes um not the socks i'm saying these shoes have you know that, that that's that's what i'm getting from them maybe maybe some of you hard disagree which is fine you know it's fine foster uh healthy debate in the comments please comment like subscribe all the above uh so let's give these a rating let's give these a rating hmm 
As I said, I don't know if I love this burlap. Sometimes I'm a, I'm a materials guy. I do kind of like this. I don't know if I'm actually going to rock them like that. Is that like ridiculous? Is that kind of corny? I kind of like rocking them like that. Uh, is it better than that? You got this exposed stitching, thick, uh, wide stitching on the tongue. Hmm. Let's put, let's put the other one on that way. Let's see how, how they compare. Rating. I mean, just the silhouette in its own, I think, you know, gets like what a, a seven, maybe to others at higher the silhouette in this color, black, Chuck Taylor High um, gets like a seven on its own. And then I don't love some parts of these. So maybe it knocks it down a little bit, but then at the same time, I like parts of these and what has been done. So maybe you bump it back up the same amount. I mean, these, uh, I mean, it's, it's great. You know, you can wear these with so much. Definitely good shorts uh, shoe. Definitely good shoe with skinnier tapered pants i'm not a huge fan of kind of the current trend is wide baggy and you wear fuck it wear whatever under them um thin shoes thin narrower uh shoes i that's just not me maybe i'm getting too old to like keep up with every single trend i'm a little bit more classic when you're as old as me you survive so many trends you get so much crap in your wardrobe that was cool like two years ago and now it's not cool i i I tend nowadays to just decrease buying and, and, and stuff and clutter and having to sell, flip, throw away, etc. go to Goodwill. Try to stick with the classics, classics like these. So obviously these go great with jeans. But um, let's give these a, let's give these a 7.25. I think that's a fair rating. It's good, not 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 excellent or great solid rating 7.25 here let's do one i didn't forgot to compare these two what are we thinking folks tongue up tongue down i always say i want to know in the comments and only a few people comment so let's get some more comments tongue up or tongue down i i haven't like truly laced these maybe if i truly lace these like could you you're gonna lace them underneath is that the play no, I think you got to like keep lacing them, right? Like lace them over the top, almost like you did with soccer tongues back in the day, right? I think, I think that might be, uh, looks ridiculous. It's too hard to do this with a camera on. I apologize. I don't really want to cut. So just imagine, just imagine, just imagine. Oh, we time around the, the ankle. If we do that, they're not long enough for that. Not long enough for that. Tongue up, tongue down. Maybe we go one of each. Huh? Is that corny? Hmm. I think what we do, what we do is we start with the tongue up, wear them around for a bit like that. Then once these get a little bit more beat up, then you go tongue down, play into the distressed aesthetic. I think that's the play. Playing these tongue down when they're brand new out of the box might be trying a little hard. But you know, you get your use out of them, get your wear. They're getting in the second half of the life. Let's let's switch it up a bit. Be a little bit more creative. We're gonna put the tongue down, second half of the life, switch out the laces to the black. Wear the white laces when these are nice and icy. And then second life, we're gonna make these really different than a normal chuck. Tongue down, black laces. That's the wave. That's what we're doing. I don't care what you say in the comments. All right, please subscribe. I do care what you say in the comments. I was kidding. I was kidding. Watch my next videos.